What's going on guys, you're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're unboxing the Nike Air Fear of God 1. So just to get right into it, this is of course the Nike Air Fear of God 1. Um, it's a collaboration between Nike Basketball and Jerry Lorenzo and of course Lorenzo is the founder and chief designer of Fear of God. Fear of God is a men's street luxury label based out in LA and they're kind of known for an oversized baggy cut. The colors are typically, you know, dark, earthier, neutral tones, but there's definitely like a darker mood to them. Kind of creates that very somber sort of atmosphere and attitude. And you kind of see a lot of his aesthetic in this shoe, of course. In terms of footwear, Jerry Lorenzo is really known for those sneaker boots, those high cut boots that also double as shoes and he kind of brought over that similar idea when he did this collaboration with Nike. So again, in this video, we're just gonna quickly look at all the little details of the materials, our favorite parts about this shoe and all the little design cues that you might not instantly recognize. So yeah, let's get right into it. So this is the black and sail colorway. So far there's two known colorways, this one as well as a white and sail colorway. And in 2019, there's actually a few other colorways that are set to drop sometime in the early spring. We'll get into that a little bit later, but in terms of the quality, like we said, you kind of expect something higher because the price point is 350 bucks. And of course, there's a shoot around version that didn't feature this exterior sort of cage that was 300 bucks. But right off the bat, if you're a fan of Nike, you can definitely recognize some key elements from the Air 180. And that comes from the overall sort of shape and size of this midsole, like this little cut right here at the forefoot and this high peak right here towards the heel is definitely an Air 180 sort of aspect. Even the way the visible air unit is treated is also something from the Air 180, but this isn't technically Air Max, it's actually a double stacked zoom. And what that means is just double stacked zoom is used in several LeBron shoes, a lot of other performance basketball shoes in the past. What's important about this shoe is not only is it kind of designed to fit the lifestyle, you know, for the streets sort of aesthetic, but it was made to perform for basketball. So, so the first on foot look we may have really gotten was through PJ Tucker of the Houston Rockets. You know, he's kind of like a defensive role player. We know him better for his pretty thorough sneaker collection. So he was kind of chosen to leak the shoe. You know, so far since then, the anticipation for this release was just growing and growing. Of course, upon its release on December 15th, people wanted these real bad. So just going back to the midsole, there's definitely that Air 180 look to it. The upper has that boot sort of look. The forefoot is this really nice leather. If you take a closer look, you can kind of see it's kind of like the stressed leather. So there's these nice wrinkles that kind of add to that whole appeal. We'll unlace this just to give you a kind of a better look but the upper itself is this sort of nylon sort of fabric it seems like it's a loose fitting shoe but because there's that interior shell to lock your foot down it does feel like you're wearing a basketball shoe but it's of course very very comfortable whether you choose to ball on them or not it has double stack zoom and it's supposed to be really really comfortable let's quickly unzip this a little bit and you can kind of even see the interior piece actually scoop all the way up that ankle. So definitely the inner exoskeleton of the shoe is really meant to lock your foot in place. I mean, this is one of the highest sort of heel cups that we've ever seen. The size of the shoe is even listed right over here. It says men's 10, women's 11.5 and there is that Nike Air Fear of God logo. In the interior of the shoe is lined with this almost like basketball jersey mesh. It's like a round perforations again that you might see with basketball shorts or jerseys. Comes with a secondary set of white rope laces so you can go contrast on the black or you go tonal black on black. Let's look over here on the medial side. Again, there's that same external cage. Definitely adds that character to that shoe. It really gives it that extra oomph that sort of helps it stand out because it is an all black shoe. It might sort of just blend in, but that paired with this very distinct midsole, very great design. Of course, we'd like to point out that the shoe was designed in collaboration with Leo Chang, who's the design director for Nike Basketball. You know, he's done all of Kevin Durant footwear. He's done earlier Kyrie Irving shoes. He's done the Hyper Dunks. But you know, his creative talents are basically being used across all brands. So again, quick uh, shout out to Leo Chang because he deserves some recognition for this design as well. And if you look a quick shot at the heel, of course, they went with the simple Nike logo on the heel. And of course, there's a fear of God and a very simple type embossed onto the sole. So again, just having these in hand, you can definitely see why these were priced at 350 bucks. It is a brand new shoe, so you gotta consider that as well. It's almost hypnotic, just how perfectly laid out the attraction is. It's, it starts at the pivot point right over here. That's something from an Air Force One. And the groove sort of even stretched through the visible air unit. Again, you can see that zoom through the heel. There's this translucent piece. You know, it does have a very flat stance, so there's no like scoops or grooves or anything like that. As you can see, there's a blend of 
lifestyle. There's a lot of basketball technology that goes into it and works on both sides. That you can wear for basketball and you can wear it on the streets. And uh, we can see that these are going to be very, very popular on the streets. And you know, outside of the Air Jordan 1, there really is no other high top on the market right now that's kind of hot. This Fear of God shoe will definitely, definitely play a role in making high tops in again. Other shoes that are comparable to this model, the Yeezy 750, the Yeezy 2, the Yeezy 1. So clearly this high top look is something that you should be looking out for moving into 2019. And a lot of that has to do with the overall success and popularity of this shoe. So again, this was the black colorway with the sale outsole. It released on December 15th. There was that white version that according to Nike is gonna release at a later date. Some extra accoutrement that came with this shoe, of course. It came with a pretty interesting oversized tote bag. It has this sort of sheer kind of nylon kind of material to it, but it is lined, so it's not entirely see-through. You can see an Air Fear of God logo right in the middle. And the extra laces that come in these anti-static bags and the silver bags with the swoosh and the Air Fear of God. And again, like we said, the laces and of course, the really premium orange box. It's a huge square box. Definitely, you know, being touted as one of the shoes of the year is something that we consider a hold in high regard. It's gonna be in our upcoming top 10 list and it's in the top 10 list for a lot of uh, media outlets. So again, congratulations to Jerry Lorenzo and Nike for creating such a beautiful shoe. And just a quick note on the shoot around version, that one was priced at 300 bucks. It didn't have this exterior shell. It just had one outside swoosh. So it was pretty much the same overall silhouette construction of the shoe, but they just kind of stripped it down a little bit, added that swoosh. Our favorite part about this shoe is definitely the sole. I mean, we love anything classic. This is straight out of, you know, almost a Nike Vandal actually, where they went with the pivot point at the toe. And again, if you stare at it in a certain angle, it is kind of like dizzying and hypnotic. So nice little fun little aspect. And of course, you have this translucent air unit, which is pretty flush to the midsole. It's a unique thing. It's not really like grooved inwards in sort of way. And of course, the material on this toe box is uh, very choice. So this is the Nike Air Fear of God 1. You know, let us know in the comments if you think this is one of the best collabs of the year or if this shoe just wasn't for you. For us, it was definitely one of the best. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a little bit something and we'll catch you next time.